What is good, y'all? This is your boy, Westb502. One fifth of the live movie network here. And I got to get some shit off my chest. It, right now, at, at the time of me recording this video, it's damn near one o'clock in the morning. Got to get up early, but I don't give a damn. I got, I got to, I, I got to, you know, I got to say, I got to get some stuff off my chest, man. First, I, I got to say, I respect what the folks in the community are trying to do. K Spade and others with this whole tournament shindig. But this shit ain't it, bro. This ain't it. This ain't it. This game ain't it, man. On a competitive level, this game sucks. This game sucks. I thought Madden was bad. I play a lot of Madden online. I thought Madden was bad as a as a competitive game. It, you know, I, I play it a lot. I watch a lot of streams, a lot of Madden streamers, and they'll tell you, you know, Madden can be pretty bad. But live is on a whole different level of bad when it comes to competitive gameplay. A whole different fucking level. This is ridiculous. Let me start off by saying this. I had a corner three made on me in my face by a fucking rim protector. And to make it worse, he on a day one outfit. A rim protector made a corner three in 3v3 today in my face while I had my hands up corner three rim protector contested I watched the case a case bay invitational game today and it was a fucking three point shootout crazy threes one guy there, two guys there, three guys there. Didn't fucking matter. They still making it. Watching that tournament, all that did was solidify the point that I made in the video I made titled Kenny Elite Help NBA Live. Because shooting the basketball in this game is simply not a skill. I don't care what you have to say about that. Shooting the ball in this game, not a fucking skill. See, the reason why I've been advocating, me and the fellas of the group, the reason why we've been advocating for NBA Elite uh, shooting mechanics to come back is because everybody in the game shoots threes like they're fucking KD, Clay, or Steph. You have to make shooting harder. Listen. Balancing shit, traits and all that, that shit ain't working. It's time to change up this shot meter and bring back the, the, the meter from Elite. Take away the automatic green because you, you, you didn't have that in Elite as well. Bring back shooting from Elite. because And this is for the competitive guys. It has nothing to do with that casual crowd. I'm speaking simply as this game. I'm speaking, you know, simply on this game on a competitive level. Because as a competitive game, this game sucks. It sucks. It's terrible. In NBA Elite, if you're not familiar, shooting the ball, you was responsible for your accuracy and the power generated, just like how you are in real life. So that meant if you had too much power on your shot, that shit was going over the rim. Or you was going to brick that shit off the backboard. If you didn't have enough power on it, it was an air ball. Your accuracy was pushed too far to the right. Guess what? You was going to miss it to the right. Everything was on you. You missed that shot. Not the game. The game wasn't cheating. You know. You some shit. You missed. That's how the game should be. At least on the competitive level. That's in the way the game is now, it's completely opposite. You can't take this game serious. You can't. No fucking way. There's so many issues in the game. Shooting the ball is a big issue, but it's not the only issue in the game. The fact 
This is a fact. What I'm about to say. Everything I'm saying is a fact. And this is a fact as well. How can you have a competitive game a competitive game when I'm losing control of my player 50 to 75% of the time? A guy can spam square. Like this is fucking Mortal Kombat 11. And I can't move. You hold, you press a button, and it, the game literally takes control of, of your player. Moves you around the court. Automatic switching. Automatic rebounds. All this automatic shit in the game. You've even made self-alley-oops automatic now. Why? Why are we narrow, making the skill gap more narrow than what it already was? What are we doing? If I don't want to hear nothing else about anybody saying EA needs to hold some tournaments for what? I laugh at that. This gameplay on a competitive level is shitty. I don't give a damn what nobody has to say. It's bad. Yeah, you can have fun, play it casually. You can't play this game for no money. You can't play this game on a serious competitive level. I, like I said, man, I, I respect what they were doing. K Spade and them with the, the tournaments. I respect all those guys trying to put together tournaments. But this gameplay simply ain't it, man. Everybody shoots the ball like Golden State. There's no control, no freedom. You, I, the game just feels so, you, you just feel so limited in what you can do in this game. It's ridiculous. Like, come on. I don't even feel good when I beat somebody. This game, there's no physics in this game. Come on, you can stand in front of a guy. He can move you out the way like you're fucking paper mache. A point guard, a six foot, 150 pound point guard could stop a six foot 10, 200 something pound rim protector from dunking the ball. It's crazy. It's crazy. What happened when Brandon Knight tried to go up with DeAndre Jordan? Boy got put in the damn coffin. That doesn't happen in NBA Live, though. You can you can take a, a, a guy like Brandon Knight, jump in front of a big man, and he'll do some goofy-ass layup. This game doesn't make any sense. To go along with that, this is this is literally the most hard-headed game I've ever played in my life. Not even exaggerate. I haven't played a game that's more hard-headed than this game ever. And what I mean by that is that this game simply doesn't listen to you. You hold turbo and the shoot button. The game told me, the practice menu, that shit told me when I do that, that's supposed to be a dunk. I remember in Live 06, you always went up. You, if you holding the right command, if you put in the dunk command, you went up for a dunk unless somebody was there to bump you. And if that guy was too little, he was getting boomed on. Even then, if you got bumped, you know what they did? You know what the refs did? They did their fucking job and they called a foul. Live 19, Live 18, Live 16, ever since you got back, referees have had to whistle up their ass. They don't call nothing. I can come on the court with a machete and cut a guy. They ain't calling shit. What are the refs doing there? What are they doing there? You can play a full game and not even sniff the free throw line. All these canned blocks that you can't adjust out of. Losing control because 
the guy who's defending me is spamming square. The magnetic pulls, like when the defense switches, say like I'm guarding the point guard and the game switches me onto the shooting guard for some reason. If I try to go back to guarding the point guard, you know, remember how in cartoons they have the big ass uh, uh, magnet and it pulls you in, the, in that direction? That's what it feels like when I play live at times. That's some big ass magnet, like fucking wily coyotes in the crowd with a magnet and he's, he's pulling me away from my guy because he's rooting for the other team. He's trying to help them out some way, somehow. This is ridiculous, man. How, how can we say this is... How can we say this is it? This game ain't it. Like I said, this is stuff I've been complaining about for years now. It doesn't matter how much you weigh. It doesn't matter how tall you are, man. There's scenarios where, like I said, you're literally in front of a guy, but your back is turned and you can't turn around for some reason. And even still, I remember in the old NBA Live games, where you had your back turned to a guy, and if he was running in your direction, he'd run you the fuck over. They'd call foul. Whether it be on the defensive player or the offensive player, that call, you heard that whistle. I think I'm lying. Go play NBA Live 03. You'll see it there. You standing in front of a guy, he'll run your ass straight over. Get your back turned. He's running in your direction. He'll run you straight over. Not in this game. Not in this era of life. You got your back turned to a guy. He'll move you out the way. He'll be dribbling. He'll move you out the way. Like you weigh three pounds. And proceed to do some dumbass dunk. Let's talk about the, the, the ball itself. That shit is a yo-yo. There's literally animations where you knock the ball free. And that shit goes back. Remember, you know, the, the, the yo-yo trick to walk the dog where you where you fucking you, you throw the yo-yo down or whatever and it stays down. And it comes right back to your hand. That's 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 how the ball physics in the game of NBA Live remind me of. It's like a yo-yo. You knock the ball out of his hands. You go into this two-man scenario. The ball, it doesn't matter who who's around. The ball go through this guy's leg, this guy's waist, and it'll go right back to the guy's hand. Before EA even thinks about putting the tournament together for this game, they got to do a whole lot of fucking work to this gameplay. I can't take this game serious. I don't take anybody serious who says that they're the best at this game. I don't take it serious. You can't. You cannot take this shit serious. It's simply impossible. There's so much work that needs to be done with this game. I I've dropped multiple videos on what I think needs to be done. And I'm going to be honest. I don't think it is going to be done. I'm going to be real, but it needs to be done. This is wild, man. This is wild. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say, man. I mean, I'm going to drop this video tomorrow. Another video on, on physics. Cause I'm, I'm going to say something that Connor Dugan said when he was on Elite. And I'm pretty sure he still feels the same way now. When we was playing NBA Live 10, you know what he said about Live 10? We were the passenger. So that means, you know, you're the passenger. You're just watching. You know what I mean? Like with the Euros and the, the layups and stuff. You hit a button and you watch a scenario play out. You're not the driver, meaning that you're not in control. You can't have a competitive game if you're not in control. And I'm going to go more in depth with this 
in the next video. But man, I had to get this little bit off my chest, man. Cause this is bad, yo. And I don't I don't think people get it. They just say, oh, this is fun. I'm playing with my friends. I have fun. Yeah, I have fun casually playing with my friends too. This is not a game you can play. Money. This is not a game. I don't see how people play this game every day. I play this game once a week. That's all I can take. Once every week, once every other week. That's all I can take. This game doesn't make any sense. You get the interceptions when you're not looking. No look interceptions. Like I said, you got the, the, the lack of the, the limitations and control. The game taking over for you. The game with the, the automatic stuff. The automatic rebounds. I oh, forgot to mention the, the automatic steal attempts they give you at times. You don't even hit the steal button, but your guy's going for a steal anyway. You don't even hit the rebound button, but your guy's going up for the rebound. A guy could throw you an alley-oop. You could be running away from the rim. A guy hits that alley-oop button. The, 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 you, you can hit that, that alley-oop button. You could be running away from the rim. Game's going to take control of that guy, the recipient, and run him, take control of him, and he's going to run to the rim and try to go get that pass. The ball, it, it, the, the ball is on the yo-yo string. The ball is a yo-yo. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Ball shouldn't be going through people. Shouldn't be going through body parts. You dribbled into my leg, which means you should lose the ball. You mad? Get better at dribbling. <laughs> NBA Live right now is a joke. It's a joke. That's why people can't take this game serious. It's a joke. A lot has to change with this game. Like I said, I'm going to make another video tomorrow. Fuck it. I'll probably do it tonight. I'll probably upload it tomorrow morning. But man, this is bad. This gameplay is bad. What are the refs doing? There's so many issues. There's so much I can complain about. This is, this is the same stuff I've been complaining about for years. I, I made videos on this shit last year. There's a reason why I didn't want to make these videos again. Because I already made them. I'm regurgitating the same shit that I said last year on video. Same stuff. Don't bring up 18 to me. It's the same thing. It's the same thing we're going to do now. You cannot promote a game. You can't have a competitive mode be your main selling point. And you have arcade gameplay. This is why nobody takes NBA Live serious. This is why nobody's really worried about This is why your competition is really worried about you. Why, why, why would they be worried about you for? Come on now. Let me get a buffer. All right. I'm going to end this one. I'm going to make another video. I'm gonna come back with some more shit, some more, some more, some more uh, feedback, I guess. More real talk for you guys. I'm gonna get a battery. I'm gonna end the video there. Let y'all check it out. Uh, but man, this is <laughs> this is crazy. This is a joke. Uh, but yeah, this is Westby Five Hundred Two signing out. Sub if you want. Thumbs up if you want. Thumbs down if you if you don't. I mean, if you if you want, it don't, it don't matter. What what I said was facts. It doesn't matter what you, what you think. What I said was facts. So I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna make another video, and I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow.